In the letter that we heard from Paul to the Philippian church, what a warm beginning Paul brings to his letter. He obviously has great affection for them. The first few paragraphs of the letter ooze with love. In this reading, we hear Paul is telling the Philippians that he is confident that God is in control and that nothing can prevent God from completing any work that he has started in each believer. Peter Hall went into much more detail on the history and meaning of this passage in his sermon on Sunday, and I really encourage you to listen to that. I just have a couple of things I wanted to share about with you about what impacted me when I first read this passage a few days ago. The sentence that really struck me was this, how I long for you with the compassion of Jesus Christ. At the time that Paul wrote this letter, we believe he was imprisoned in Rome. He was writing to his fellow Christians in Philippi and he was obviously missing them greatly. In this what seems like never-ending lockdown, I can say that I long for all of you. I long to be with my family and my friends again. I long to be with people, to talk and laugh and hug again. I long to be able to worship God together under one roof as a congregation. And what really spoke to me about what Peter said in his sermon on Sunday was that Paul had confidence in God, even when he was in prison, probably starving and beaten. In that darkness, he still clung to the light of Christ. He still has confidence in Jesus Christ. He has confidence in the power and presence of God. This confidence, I think, stems from a rich knowledge of scripture and his belief in the generous, slow to anger, quick to love God that we have faith in too. So I draw comfort from Paul's confidence that God is in control. I also have confidence in God, in his power and presence in our lives. Isaiah 26 verse 4 says this, Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God you have an everlasting rock. So I know that in time, my longings to be with you all again will be fulfilled, particularly after yesterday's announcement. I know that in time, we will be able to talk and laugh and hug again, because I, like Paul, have confidence that God is in control. Amen.